What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles with Holiday World out of Dallas, Texas, and we just got in this brand new 4x4 Class B Thor Sanctuary brand. Sanctuary, right? Yeah. You see it on the back there. I think you can see it in the camera there. We've never had this model in before, and I think Thor made this for 2022, so this is a brand new product. And I'm really excited. This is the first time here at my location we've had a 4x4 Class B motorhome. There's a lot of really cool stuff to take a look at in this motorhome. Let's go. Hey, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time tuning into one of my videos, I'm super excited that you're here. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you do get something out of this video, consider hitting the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you would like to connect with me on other social media platforms, links to my Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook are down below in the description where you can find other RV related content that I upload regularly. And then finally, if you are interested in this RV, keep in mind I am in a sales position. I do not get paid by my company to come out here and make these videos. I just do this on my own own time in hopes of finding people like you that might be interested in this RV. So I would love to personally assist you in helping you make this RV yours. So you can either text me at the number on the screen there or there is a link down below in the description that you can fill out with some basic information that will help me best help you. So go down there and fill out that information if you are interested in this RV and let's get into the video. All right y'all so this is a 2023 Thor Sanctuary 19P and this is a brand new model from Thor. So we have never had this on our lot before. We've had things like the Thor scope and the Thor sequence that we've had here, but this Thor sanctuary is a four x four, as you can see right there. So this is gonna be the first time we've had a four x four class B motorhome on our lot here in Dallas. So really excited about this. You can see it's on the Mercedes chassis. And then I have Lewis here with me. Lewis, I wanted him to help me out with this video. One, because we've never really seen this thing before. This is our first time kind of playing around with it and everything. And then Lewis just started his own Spanish speaking RV tour channel as well. So we are getting that kicked off. It's so fresh, we don't even have a name for it yet. So we don't even know what it's gonna be called, but I'll put a link down below in the description of the video where you can find his channel there, where you can see RV tours in Spanish. The first one we have going up with him is going to be a Montana fifth wheel. We get over here. One of the Montana fifth wheels that we have over here. And then that's something we're gonna try to get at least like hopefully three to five videos a week on that channel that's gonna to be tours of RVs all in Spanish. So if that applies to you, go check out that channel and we're really excited about that. He's gonna be helping me out as well. And he's also my father-in-law. So really excited to have him here with me as well and uh, helping me out. So I also wanna to mention too, if you ever reach out to me and are interested in an RV and I'm not here, Lewis also can help you out. So that's another reason why he's here as well to help me out and then also help out with creating this Spanish speaking channel that's gonna be really exciting. So, all right, that's everything with that. Let's get into this motorhome here. So you can see it's on the Mercedes chassis. We're gonna get the floor plan and the specs up on the screen here. And then I'll kind of read through some of these things. I literally have to read this off because I this is my first time seeing this motorhome. So I really don't know much about it. So this has an interior height of six foot four inches. You're going, it's a diesel engine. You have a 24 and a half gallon fuel capacity on it. It's a 3.0 liter V6 diesel engine at that. 19 gallons of fresh water, 4.75 gallons of wastewater. The gross vehicle weight rating is 9,050 pounds, uh, 20 gallon gray water capacity. And it's pretty much everything there on the specs. It's really rated to sleep two people. So it's pretty much just like a couple style trailer for like a single person. And then this has a lot of the off-road packages on it as well. So you get the um, BF Goodwrench, all-terrain tires on here that look really good it's also pretty high up off the ground as well so when you come up underneath here there's no generator on this model so you have a pretty good amount of clearance and there's no generator because you have this reliable lithium battery system here so there is a solar panel up on the roof we're going to try to get up there in just a second because this does come with a telescopic ladder that you can get up onto the roof with but lewis if you can open that door for me there the uh, underneath here, you have a 400 amp hour lithium battery and then a 3000 watt inverter. So this along with the solar panel is going to power everything on the RV. So there's no generator needed in this motorhome. So that is really exciting. I know I've seen some previous videos of this model that had the generator on it, but it now has this lithium battery, the 400 amp hour, huge lithium battery with a 3000 watt inverter to power this whole motorhome. And as we're back here, so this, Lewis got the ladder right there. 
So you have the telescopic ladder and then you have this right here, which I actually have never really messed with this too much, but this is a magnetic bar that I suppose just holds it in place so it stabilizes it. But you can see it just attaches there and then you have these straps that I believe hold that ladder and secure it to the wall. Now, it also, I haven't messed with this too much, but it looks like it like secures somewhere here. It sure does, should um, be connecting here probably. Maybe, yeah, I don't know how it works exactly. I haven't played with it too much, so I'm sure someone out there knows exactly how this is supposed to function. But right now, if you just wanna, yeah, if you wanna mess with that for a second, maybe see if you can figure it out how that works. I'm gonna go around some other aspects of it. You have your um, gas connection down underneath here for all your propane gas under there. And then I really like the text that they went with the black here. The sanctuary does come in multiple different color options here. This one is in this gray. That looks really good with the black tinted windows. And here you have your black tank cassette toilet here. So this is pretty unique and interesting. We've seen this in some of the teardrop trailers, but this just pulls out. And this is your black tank. It's basically like a little suitcase that you can uh, go take wherever you want. So if you're at a campsite and stuff, you just wanna walk this over to a dump station, or if you, I guess if you just wanna take this into a public restroom and dump it down the toilet, you could do that too. So pretty interesting there with the cassette toilet that you have, definitely gives you that more uh, flexibility. Oh, get this up there with one hand, there you go. Gives you a little bit more flexibility on the road to be able to dump your black tank literally anywhere pretty much. So pretty interesting there. And then we got the ladder set up here so you can see how it is a telescopic ladder that goes up towards the roof. I'm gonna get up there. If anybody in the comments knows exactly what this is used for, let me know. Again, my thought is just that maybe you put it on the side here to hold those legs in place to give it more security. But I don't know if it's also so you could just store it on the back wall here and leave it there when you're transporting. I'm not sure. But let me get up on the roof real quick and show you kind of what's going on up here. The ladder actually feels pretty sturdy. Definitely doesn't feel like uncomfortable or unsafe or anything. When you get up here, first of all, you have this light bar up there that's covered right now. So it comes with a cover to protect it. But when you take that cover off, you have a light bar there that shines over your windshield. So gonna give you a lot more light up front. You have your solar panel up here. I believe this is a 190 watt solar panel from everything I've seen online. So it looks like it's about a 190 watt solar panel there. You have your WineGuard digital antenna, and then you have the Coleman Mach Q-Series AC all up here. So that is everything on the roof. The light bar, definitely really cool with the setup there. It can give it a little bit more of an aggressive look. And then you can see how this can kind of sit up here if you want it to hold those arms right there on the ladder. I'm, I really think that's what it is, but if I'm wrong about that, just correct me in the comments there. Another thing that you have is a spot for your sewer hose right here. So you open this up and there's even a nice little strap there to hold it in place, but that gives you storage for your sewer hose that you can put it back in there when you are done with it. It gives you a nice dedicated spot for that. And then going back around this side, all of your drain points here for your low point drain and your gray tank drain are right under here in the middle of the coach there. You have your city fill water connection with a light here so you can see what you're doing in darker conditions. This is a plug for solar. So if you wanted to add more solar, you can plug in a solar panel here as well. And then you have your 30 amp electrical connection and your cable TV connection if you wanted to hook up a satellite or anything like that. Really nice looking step on both sides, kind of that more rugged all-terrain look. And again, just really matches the wheels and the tires really well. This also looks like it has to have some, some kind of lift on it. It has to be like a two or three inch lift because it has quite a bit of ground clearance. Definitely a lot more than different Thor products that are not a sanctuary, like a scope or a sequin. So it's gotta have some kind of lift on it. Your mirrors here are going to be powered and heated. And then when you come up front, you're gonna have a lot of the luxury features that you get with Mercedes. Um, things like the lane assist, um, cruise control that can adjust speeds. You're gonna have your automatic lights. So um, like I th I'm pretty certain the uh, high beams come on automatically if it doesn't sense like a car in front of you or anything like that. And lots of really good safety features that you get with Mercedes as well. So that's pretty much everything on the outside. Um, I will show the awning as well if you wanna open the door there and then go up here. You're gonna have your BM Pro touchscreen panel here that's gonna control everything on the RV and this will link 
to your phone as well. So you, a lot of the stuff that this does here, your phone can do. Oh, and here's your retract button there, I believe, for the awning. Let's see. I haven't actually played with this too much. Ooh, I have no idea what that does. This is my first time really kind of playing with this system a whole lot since I haven't got in here before. That you would think this would be, there we go. Yeah, okay. Awning is extending. And I like that it's a one push. So it's gonna come out on its own there. I just had to push the button once and it's gonna start coming out. You also have an LED light strip up underneath here. So you can see the LED lights right there that are not currently on. But whether your awning is in or out, those LED lights can shine out into your campsite there. And I just love that this comes out completely on its own. You just push the button once and you get a ton of awning coverage there. And then what you need to do, so you see it kind of auto corrects to get it right where it needs to be. And then it does have arms that will come down from right here to connect to the ground to make it more stable. So really easy setup there to get your outside shade coverage. And I'm gonna put this back in just so we don't have anything happen with any wind or anything like that. But let's see if it retracts the same way. I don't know what I did to, it was like I was pushing that button. Okay, look, it looks like you have to put it on A1. Not sure exactly what that means. So it looks like maybe this extend and retract can apply to various different things. Not exactly sure there, because I just haven't played with this thing quite enough yet. But automatically goes back in as well, so you don't have to sit there and hold the button the whole time. All right, then when you come here, so when you walk in, this is kind of the little interesting thing about this being such a short Class B motorhome. I, the length on this is under 20 feet in total length, so very easy to maneuver and get around in this motorhome here. And part of the way they designed this motorhome being so short is they give you this island here that kind of extends out into this space. So when you have this door open, you have a JBL speaker here that it comes with, you have outlets and USB ports here, and then you have this tabletop space there that will come out. And then you can see all these Velcro strips that go around. So what that is, is you have a net that it's up in the cabinet right now, but you actually have a bug screen that goes around this entire entry door here, except for this space right there. So all of your opening, it can be covered by a bug screen that you have there. So you can leave this door open and not have bugs get in there and whatnot. You have cargo netting down underneath here to hold different things in place. And again, your rugged looking step as you come in as well. Another thing to look at here is um, what up front you're gonna have, cause it's a Mercedes, you have all your power controls for the seat and then you have memory functions here. So these seats do swivel. You can see they have come with a little swivel seat tag there so you know that they swivel. But because of how close it is to this frame here, you do have to move it up a little bit. So if you move it up and tilt it forward just a bit, you're gonna get that clearance you need. So to make this easy for you, so now right about there, you should have enough clearance. You can just set this as like the third memory position here. So if you wanna have like one for you, one for your significant other or anything like that, you can have those two. And then the third one, you can just press that button so it automatically moves it up into this position. And then you should have a pull valve right underneath here that will then allow this to, there you go, to swivel. Thanks for the help, Lewis, appreciate it. So yeah, that will allow that to swivel. See how that swivels there and it should lock into place right there. Beautiful. And then that's gonna give you a really comfortable seat position when it swivel back, cause then you can move this back further. You can lay it back and you actually are going to have a pretty decent amount of space for a comfortable seating position here when that is swiveled around. So you can see how that looks there with that swiveled quite a bit of leg room and stuff when you have that swiveled around to have a nice comfortable seating position. Now, another thing I really like about this is all the headroom you have in this area. So much headroom in there. It doesn't feel claustrophobic when you're sitting in here. And then it's a Mercedes chassis. So it's just a really, really beautiful looking um, setup that you got up here. Oh, another thing too, this actually, let me play with this a little bit. Yeah, this extends out a bit. So you have some additional leg support there if you have longer legs versus shorter legs. And when I sit down into the seat, plenty of room here. It does have a push to start. Got to hold it for a couple seconds to get it started up. Really quiet. See, so you have a backup camera 
on here as well. The screen definitely has a lot of reflection that shows on camera. But you have the backup camera there. Um, I think, let's see if I can get that to go away. So you can see the display from the volume down here. All your heat controls and everything down here. It has these little click knobs that are pretty satisfying to touch. So I like that and enjoy that. And then you have like your light features here. Obviously your locks and windows on this side and your seat controls. It does have, looks like um, heated seats and all your cruise control controls are here on the steering wheel. So a nice leather feeling steering wheel as well. Feels really nice. I wish I knew how to get this to the home screen. Looks like you have multiple different camera angles here too. So that's kind of cool as well. But I don't know how to get it back to the home screen. Maybe if I put it in drive. There we go. Okay, cool. So yeah, here's your display here. You're going to have, it looks like it comes with Sirius XM radio as well. And you can just scroll on it. So it's all touchscreen and looks really, really nice. So that's everything up here. I'm going to turn this off. Oh, one thing I did want to show though, when I put it in reverse, so you can see right now all of the safety controls on here when you try to get it on here without the glare off the screen. But when you turn, it's actually going to show you the exact path of travel that your motorhome is taking with these yellow lines here. So you know exactly where this thing is going. A lot of really, really high tech safety features in here with this camera system as well. So really like that and thought that was pretty unique. Cool. Let's turn the engine off and start working our way back. And again, this is a um, four by four, so it's going to have a ton of off-road capabilities. Take this thing pretty much wherever you want. Um, come back here. You will have a visor that flips down really big visor at that. And then this here is a privacy curtain for up front. So you can make this more private when you need it. This is a bag for your ladder. So it does come with a bag to store your ladder in. Then you have grab handles up here. And that's pretty much everything in this space. Really nice LED lighting up here that looks good. Has a nice clean finish to it. You have your microwave here. It's just a regular RV size microwave and your Norcold refrigerator that does have a freezer portion of it. Small freezer portion, but you have something there to have some sort of freezer in here. So pretty decent sized fridge considering the size of this motorhome. And then this is a solid surface countertop. So really good quality there. Looks like you have some hooks here to be able to hang some things. Your fire extinguisher, your battery disconnect switch and an outlet there. Open this up and you have a stainless steel sink and then underneath here you're going to have all your storage you can have multiple different things that come in here um, your water filter is in here as well and you'll have that storage this will be the same size and then down underneath here i was pretty surprised when i opened this up you have an induction cooktop that you can pretty much plug in anywhere so they give you some sort of cooking surface there i actually you know what before i say that I say induction cooktop because that's what it looks like. It could just be an electric stove top as well. I actually have not verified that. So it might just be an electric cooktop and not a induction cooktop. That's something I'll have to check up on. But now that I'm looking at that, I actually am leaning more towards that it might be an electric stove instead of an induction cooktop. But it comes with that. You can plug that in anywhere and control that. And then Oh, that was something I didn't even see too. You have this master volt panel here, which that I'm guessing is going to be monitoring a lot of your battery and solar panel um, output and input. But this is not on right now, so I can't 100% verify that. I, I'm sorry, some of these things I don't know so much about because this is literally my first time looking at this motorhome. So if you catch anything in here, I tell everybody I'm no certified RV expert. If there's something here that you know more about than I do, please put it down below in the comments. That way the other viewers can go down there and read that and get that added information that you might know that I don't. So would really appreciate that. If you know some of, uh, more about some of these things that I don't know so much about, go add that there. But that is a master volt panel, which makes me think it has to be involved with the inverter and solar panels and battery. Again, you have your touchscreen panel here. So this is going to link to your phone and it's really nice. Everything is in this panel there. And then you have your Truma heating system here. So it's gonna be your water heater and your furnace there that is going to be a really efficient, quick, easy to use system there for your heating inside of this motorhome. Now, one of the big critiques on here is this bathroom, because this is definitely not going to be a bathroom that you will 
want to use too often. Now these clothing rods, they do move. So you can use this for storage to hang things in here or you can take these out when needed, but definitely not a whole lot of space. You can see the floor space in there. I mean, you don't, you can't even sit on that toilet with the doors closed. So definitely not the most practical for that. This is more of like an emergency situation when you might use this toilet. A lot of times you'll probably stop on the road to use a restroom somewhere, but it does have it. It does come with this carpet that goes in here, but if you're wanting to take a shower in here, you would just take that out. And then you have your shower head here, which will go up here. So you can take a shower in here. It's like a wet bath, essentially. You have a nice LED light strip up in here, makes it look nice in there. But I would say the ceiling height in here is probably only about five foot nine or so. So most people will probably be sitting down when they're taking a shower. And this toilet does swivel. So you have the capability to swivel this however you best see fit and then can kind of lock it in place there. Yeah. Oh, the toilet paper holder <laughs> fell there. But you have a spot here to hold your toilet paper inside there. I'm sure y'all can tell this is literally my first time playing around with this thing. Um, controls for your light and the fan. Then you have a flip down. What will activate is a sink there. You have your faucet. And that's pretty much everything. So really, really tight space in here. Definitely not the most comfortable. Now, someone like me that is just not very picky and I'm, you know, somewhat on the slender side, I'm about 6'2", 185. Definitely not very practical for my height, but I still feel like sitting down on the toilet, I could make it work and, you know, it wouldn't be too big of an issue. But that is something definitely to keep in mind that you have there with that setup. As we come back, then what this is something i really like first of all we'll look at the storage as we come back and we'll look at the msrp the msrp on this unit is 177 so that is not our actual sales price but that's the msrp from the manufacturer the sales price will be a bit below that so if you are interested in this rv i am in a sales position and would love to personally help you out in assisting you in making this rv yours you can go down to the link down below in the description and leave me your contact information there and I will get in touch with you as soon as I can to help you make this RV yours or come out and take a test drive of it or anything like that. It's definitely a really, really comfortable, smooth ride. So definitely encourage you to take a test drive of it. And if you are interested in it, just go down to that first link down below in the description, leave your contact info and I will get in touch with you as soon as I'm available. So as you keep coming back, You'll have storage all the way throughout here. Now this is like a high gloss finish on the doors and then they all are all soft closed. So really appreciate that. If y'all watch my channel, y'all know I appreciate anything that's soft closed. USB ports there. You have your AC up above right here. So definitely gonna keep you cool while you're sleeping. You can see it has this spot right here for a table. So you do have a table that is stored back behind here with the arm for that table so that you can set up a table back in this space. And then as you come back here, this is where your seat belts are gonna be. So you'll have seat belts for two on this bench. And you can see kind of your view back here when you have this in the bench position. Have your TV outlets and plugs back behind there. And then when you look at your windows here, your windows that open, it's pretty neat how this mechanism works. It'll like pop out just a little bit and that will slide open. And then it has a screen that just goes with it. You can detach the screen there and it will retract back. Obviously the door's in the way there. So when, yeah, if you want to close that, thank you. You can see you have your window outside and then you can slide the screen there. If you just leave it attached, then that screen will come and go as you open that. And you'll have other windows that open here and here. More storage up above in this space. This is unobstructed all the way through, just like the other side. You have reading lights here. So you'll have a reading light on each side and you just push that to turn it off. And then this will make into a bed. And the way you set up the bed back here, this is all electric. So I almost went to just mess with it with my hands and then quickly realized it's electric. So you use the switch right here and that will go down. Now, if you're just one person and you're not too tall or you're comfortable sleeping with your legs folded or anything like that, I mean, you could just lay across right there. It's not super long all the way across. Like me being 6'2", I definitely would have to fold my legs, but honestly, I'd probably be fine with it just being in that position. If you want it, and that's if I was by myself. If my wife's with me, definitely not the case. But 
If you wanna make the bed bigger, then you have these rail systems right here. So the table that would go right here, you just put it on those rails and you take these back cushions back behind here. These are Velcroed. You Velcro that off, put these back cushions right there. And then you have essentially like a queen size bed right here. So that would be your bed space that you have. Open this up and you have what is gonna be, most people's either pantry or wardrobe storage. I actually wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people with something like this use the bathroom as a wardrobe and then use that as a pantry. And then the last couple few details, you have a soft touch ceiling here. So it's like a synthetic leather material that you have on the ceiling. You do have a vent fan up over your kitchen as well. And before I finish up, there were a couple other things I almost missed. Um, down underneath here, there is storage. Down under there, hidden hinges on your cabinet doors as well. Oh, camera going a little crazy. There you go. And then you're going to have access to um, water lines down underneath here. So these do actually... They should pop off there. Yeah, yeah, pop off. Access to different components down underneath there from both those doors. You can see they just have those latches there to latch them back into place. Hopefully I can, in fact, I actually will probably come back and do this. When I have two hands, I'll come back to that. Um, up underneath this bench, you do have outlets under there as well. Some more char uh, charging capabilities. And then your TV swivels here, so you can swivel that out. And I think, that was everything. Um, a light up here also that will come on. So you do have another light there, kind of a nice ambient light actually. And I, oh, and then there's one thing on the outside. So come outside with me real fast. I totally skipped over a pretty important aspect of this motorhome as well, if this is important to you. You have a hitch back here rated for 5,000 pounds. So you can tow off of this. Now, I think this chassis here is actually only rated for about 4,200 pounds if I remember correct. I know it's not the full 5,000 pound capacity there, but you can tow behind this motorhome there. So if you wanna put a trailer back behind here and tow something, you can do that as well. And that is pretty much everything that I missed in this last little portion there. And I'm pretty sure we figured this out here. So this is my best guess. It's gotta be something like this here to hold it in place where you can kind of crank that tighter and then you flip this one around and send that through there. Now I'm guessing this is just to hold it in place for security, especially if this is a single person operation. So you can kind of clip this, since it's magnetized, you can put this bar anywhere on the motorhome. Now, I'm also thinking that may allow you to just store this on the back wall of the motorhome here. So you don't have to store this inside the RV somewhere, but I'm not sure if I would trust those magnets or not. I mean, they're really strong, but again, it's just a magnet. So, but I, at least I'm guessing that that's going to give you more stability going up and down with how that straps in there. And I think that's pretty much everything. I do want to point out it's a little narrow going through here. Nothing that I would be uncomfortable with, but I could see some people being like, ah, that's just not for me. And that's totally fine. When I make these videos, I understand that every RV is not for everyone. So there's different types of RVs out there because everybody's looking for something different. But if you're looking for something that is under 20 feet, fully off-road capable, runs completely off of solar and lithium batteries. I mean, this is a pretty incredible option. So I think it's pretty dang cool. I'm really excited to have it here. If I just had money to blow and throw away, I would really be looking at getting something like this because that'd be so much fun, but I'm not in that position. So <laughs> that's something that uh, if you're in that position, that's pretty cool and I'm excited for y'all and I'm excited to help somebody out that is looking for a motorhome like this. Get out and go off-road and go live the life that you want because that's what getting something like this is all about. So we'll do one last look around the outside. You can see again how this will look with the bed down. Oh, you do have a curtain that comes down here as well, or that, not a curtain, sorry. Or actually, yeah, it's a bug screen and a curtain. So you can have the privacy there or the bug screen. If you're like super off grid and you just want to sleep with your doors open, you can do that too. So pretty dang cool setup. But that's pretty much everything I got. So let's wrap up this video. All right, y'all, that's all I got for you. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And again, if you are interested in this RV, I am in a sales position. So I would love to personally help you out in making this RV yours or maybe any other RV that you've seen out there that I posted on my channel. So you can go down to the link down below in the description. It'll be the first link down there where you can leave me your contact information so I can get in touch with you as soon as I'm available. And set up a time with you to come test drive this motorhome, come take out a look at it in person. Maybe you've already seen it and you know it's what you want and we could just work out a deal over the phone for you. So reach out to me there, leave your contact information down below. And then keep in mind, Lewis has his Spanish speaking RV channel that is coming up. So go down to the link down below in the description to find that as well if you are interested in that. 
And that's all I got for y'all. Until next time, I'll see you out camping.